In this video, we're going to take a look at the new Edgeblox HTML mode and build our own website. Let's get started. So you should see a screen similar to this, where you've got a blank workspace and a blank preview. Let's drag some HTML code in, starting with the three main elements. The first one can be found in page. So if we click on the page section and then drag a HTML block into the workspace, and this will have all of our HTML code inside it. The next one is a head, which will include important details like uh, the title, you could include an icon and things like that. And then for the main content of the page, we'll need a body which will have um, all of our content in that. So we've got a HTML page set up uh, here. So the next thing we need is a title for the page. And that can also be found in page. So if you drag the title, I want to add it to the head block here because uh, that's where information like that goes. So we've got a website name and we can just rename that to my website, give it a custom name. So that's the title set up. And the next thing is we need to actually add some content to the page. So we can do that by going into text and adding a H1. And that's basically just a heading. So there's different sizes of headings. So there's like H1, H2, H3 and they go down in size. So H1 is the biggest heading that's available. Uh, and then we can just rename that the same as the title of my website. Now we want to add a paragraph. So again, we can go into text. We can add a paragraph and that's a P tag. And you can see that adds the text underneath. So the content on the page will lay out the same as the blocks here. So if I was to change the order, then the paragraph would appear above the title. I can move that back up there and it's in the right order. So we had that say this is my first website using HTML. And you see that the preview on the right updates in real time as we edit the box on the left. So we've got a title and a paragraph. And uh, let's add something else here, maybe like an image. So we can go into the media section here and then image is referenced by IMG so it's a shortened version of image and then we can drag that underneath the P paragraph tag and you can see that it's added an image icon underneath there. The next thing we need is a URL and this can be done by going to Google Images and then right clicking on image and there'll be a, an option which says copy image address and that'll give you a direct link that we can add to our website. So I've copy one into the clipboard and I can paste that into here. You can see that it's added a link. Now the image might be a bit big and it might overflow the preview. So what we can actually do is we can add an attribute to change the height. So we can do that by going into the green attribute section and then dragging in height. And if we scroll up to the right here, you'll see that there's um, an input in the pink block that we can add different attributes to. So we can drag height and then height is measured in pixels so it's not centimeters or anything like that. So we'll do something like 400 and that will scale it like that. Now if we want it smaller 300, 200, we'll put it back to 400. So there we have it. That was a quick tutorial of how to create a website using the Edgebox HTML mode. If you enjoyed this video why not check out one of the other HTML challenges in the tutorial section.